opening lap of the reverse grid race has really shown his effectiveness, his canniness, if you like. He's up to second, Turkington back down to third. And then it's Gordon Shedden in fourth place. You're on board with Shedden at the moment. Tom Chilton behind these two guys in the Vauxhall, and it's very close behind Chilton as well, because then it's Tom Onslow Cole, Mike Jordan's in there, and Fabrizio Giovinardi as somebody kicks up the dust in the background. Yeah, not a good place to end up with two wheels on the grass there, very high speed. Turkington car moving around, we saw this last time, the back of the car steps out quite a lot as they turn into the corner. That corner there at Goodwood costs you a lot of time, and look what's happened, it stepped out to the point where Shedden's got down the inside. Yeah, so Gordon Shedden now going to gain a place from Colin Turkington. This is to take Shedden back up into third position. He didn't get off the line particularly well, but now Gordon Shedden into third, and look behind, three abreast, nearly four, nearly five cars, all going for the same bit of road. Giovinardi almost on the grass there. I think he was briefly, and he's trying to get up the inside. Where are they going to go? They're coming into the chicane, there's no space. Surely they're not going to make it. Mike Jordan in the middle of that as well. He slides alongside Giovinardi. Oh, that's great, clean racing. How did they get through there? Well, you'd have put your house on one of those cars being turned around, wouldn't you? But that was absolutely outstanding. Giovinardi showed his class there. This is a man who's won seven Touring Car Championships, and that shows you why. Mike Jordan has moved up into fifth place. Onslow Cole up to fourth position. These guys all fighting for position further back. Matt Neal's in there. Oh, somebody locks up on the brakes. Giovinardi's got ahead of that group. Somebody shot off at a complete tangent to the corner. I don't know where they're going. The other side of Andover, I think. But they've come back on. It was Matt Allison. Well done to his team, by the way, for getting that car rebuilt after the crash in race two. And again, some people are running a little bit too wide.